In this video, we're going to look at five legendary riffs that I think all guitarists should play sooner or later. So tunes like this, for example, can add a bit of distortion for more old school ones like this. You can go acoustic, for example, as well, and do some Bob Marley and get something like this. So the whole purpose of a year is just to have some fun and play some familiar riffs to impress your mates, enjoy for yourself. And before we go further, I want you to notice that on the accompanying PDF file, each song has got a time stamp. In other words, next to Enter Sandman, it says one minute. Next to Smoke on the Water, three minutes. Redemption song, five minutes. If you want to find a song, you simply go to the time frame in the video and you'll find the songs. You don't have to play the whole way through. Starting with Into Sandman. Now the original plays through I think 12 times before it goes on to the next part of the song. And this riff actually comes from your E minor blues scale, which looks something like this. If you focus on the top end of your neck, here's your E minor blues scale. And you can hear those notes over here. You can hear how those notes have been utilized and incorporated into the actual phrase. Now I'm going to zoom in more onto the fretting hand here. Finger 1 is going to play everything in fret 5, middle finger number 2, everything in fret 6, and the ring finger is going to take care of fret number 7. So very important, keep your hand stationary, don't move unnecessarily. Now you're kicking off with a 0, which is a red 0 on your first tab. That red zero only gets played once and then you ignore it for the remaining 12 bars of repetition. So you're going to play that onto the fret 7. Now those are octaves. That's an E. That's an E, but they're different pitch. Followed by a fret 5. And here you get that minor blue note, the 6, 5. For those of minor blues, it's a flattened fifth. We're not going to go into theory right now. But this is the flattened fifth, nothing to do with the fret number because it's obviously fret six. And one more time up close, you can see now. And then the last zero will take us now back to the beginning. And as you speed up, you end up having enter Sandman. Try it, try and get the full 12 times in a row and have lots of fun. We're on to three minutes now. We're looking at smoke on the water. I would encourage a bit of overdrive over here just because it sounds cool. So you want to have something that sounds more like this. Try and get a bit more review out there. And it's going to go. Now, purists might say you must use fingers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my pick. I'm going to put him down. I'm going to pick it with fingers like this. A subtle difference but it's not that important so whatever you prefer that's cool let's go on to learning how to play it now on the tab you'll notice all the numbers for smoke in the water are on the middle two strings so you're only playing strings four and string three you're going to start with a double open followed by a double three and double five and notice that the hand hasn't moved so it's Second phrase, now you can do one of two ways, you can either jump up with the third finger or you can get the pinky. So I don't really mind which configuration you favor for that, it's not that crucial. And then the next phrase sort of starts off the same and it finishes off with it. Now on the picking with the plectrum as well, try and keep your, your movement of your stroke, in other words your movement of your pick, they call it the stroke, nice and small, so it's and you've got smoke in the water, it's as simple as that. Now there is another way to play it as well, but I'm not going to go into it, but I will play it through just once quickly so you can hear it, and this is the correct way. 
but I'm not going to go through that. Next up, Redemption Song by Bob Marley. We're going to go back to a clear sound again. I've been looking at a phrase that sounds like this. towards the end. On repetition, ignore that red two. Now, it's a really easy fun song to play. It's diatonic, which means it's not actually a pentatonic scale, so it's got the notes from the major scale. And um, let's get to playing it. You're going to start with fret three, and you'll notice over here that I'm only using fingers one and two. So it's... And you can see the finger move across over there. There's it again. Three, Similar, three, O2, O, but what's the timing for the second half? That O2, O is closer together, which means that timing is a bit quicker. And then you got that red two, which you do include the first time, which should go. So those four notes, two, three, two, O, must be pretty quick. And then you finish with a three. Now on the second time, you start the same. So it's going to go one, two, three, four. there which I hope you notice is that that two gets left out so the first time you go and the second time if you accidentally put the two back in no one's going to mind <laughs> okay it's as simple as that and that is your redemption song on the nail next up we got come and get your love by Redbone at seven minutes now this is a song from 1973 which is going to sound like this. I think they use it for a meme in TikTok or something like that, but it sounds pretty cool. And you'll notice I'm only using my first finger the whole way through. Here we go. It's as easy as that. I'm doing downstrokes the whole way through with a little bit of palm damping as well, which means I'm bringing my palm onto the saddles. Here's the saddles at the top. I'm resting my palm there. So you can hear my notes are ringing, but not like that. There's a hint of being muffled like that. Now, on the fretting hand, we spoke about only using one finger, which makes it both easy and sneaky, because your timing can go a bit south of it. You're starting with an open zero like this, and then two O back down to that string. So one more time, the opening four notes. You get another 2 O, and then you got a quickish phrase which is going to go. And if I bring both left and right hand into that, you can see the picking together there. There's no hammer ons and pull offs, although that wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe try one. And it's going to go like this from the beginning one, two, three, four, and. the timing now the trick is to get it twice in a row so here we go one two three four and then obviously pick up speed as we go along with it you do that also about four or five times it's the main bass groove as well for the song and then to finish off of you here we're going to look at we end up with Beat It by Michael Jackson, which is based on an E minor seventh arpeggio originally written by Eddie Van Halen. Then Fall Out Boy covered it a bit as well, and they changed the ending slightly, which is what I was trying to get in for the, the second phrase there. Now, nice big jumps, definitely going to get the pinky working over here, and we're going to focus more to the picking hand for this, or sorry, the fretting hand. And we're starting with the open E string. Now, middle finger number two is for the three. It's your third fret. First finger is going to look after the second fret. And the pinky has to go to fret number five. So slow motion. And now some variations put a hammer on from the two to the four. I left it out, but if you want to include a two to the four, 
you're welcome. And then I've even seen one transcription do a slide. For simplicity, let's just keep it like that and it's going to work really, really well. So one more time, if you take the first phrase. And the second time round, depending if you're doing the Michael Jackson version or the Fall Out Boy version, the Michael Jackson version is just going to go. And it ends there. The Fall Out Boy version does. It does a double zero added on to the end of it. And if I recall correctly, I think John Mayer did the, the Fall Out Boy guitar cover solo as well. But let's play beat it the whole way through. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some pretty cool new riffs to add to your repertoire. And if there's any riffs that you think you'd like me to put together for the next um, Legend Riffs, Drop me a WhatsApp and let me know. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome week. Take care.